Dragon's Boogeyman. It was late at night and past Dragon's bedtime. Dragon had stayed up to finish his monster book. Oh. Even though he knew it was just a story, he felt just a tiny bit scared. But I have nothing to be frightened of, he said. I'm safe at home. Oh, the only monster in here is me. So, Dragon headed off to bed. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Good night, cat, whispered Dragon. Yes, everything was nice and peaceful in the house. But what was that? Ah, oh, it must not have been anything, realized Dragon. Dragon closed his eyes and started to drift off to sleep. Oh, there it is again, worried Dragon. There was definitely something making a definitely scary noise. And it was yeah. right behind him, wasn't it? Hmm. It was just the window rattling in the breeze. Dragon felt very relieved. There was nothing scary to worry about. But he decided from now on, before going to bed, he would only read nice, happy books about bunny rabbits. The Monster Under the Bed Reading his scary book had made Dragon a little bit nervous about going to sleep even though he knew there was nothing to worry about. He was safe in his bed, but just to be sure, he decided to look around his room one more time. I'll look in my closet, just to make sure there isn't anything scary hiding in there. wasn't anything scary hiding in there, but he did remind himself to oil those noisy hinges in the morning. He was about to go back to bed, but stopped to look under the rug just to make sure there wasn't something scary hiding under there. No. And he looked under his pillow, just to make sure. Now the dragon knew there wasn't anything scary hiding in his bedroom, he felt much better. 
he was all ready to fall asleep. He wiggled his toes, yawned a big yawn. And... I forgot to look under the bed. Of course. If something was going to hide in his bedroom, it would hide under the bed. Yeah. He saw something. Ah. He saw something big and pointy and blue. It looked just like <laughs> his own tail. <sighs> Dragon felt really silly. Imagine scaring yourself with your own tail. But Dragon decided he would hang on to his tail while he slept, just so there'd be no more surprises. The sound around us. The scary story Dragon had read just before bedtime was still making him nervous. But he knew he was safe and sound in his cozy home and had nothing to worry about. Cat sure isn't having any trouble sleeping, realized Dragon. Dragon decided it was silly to worry. He wiggled his toes and yawned a big yawn. <sighs> He was all set to drift off to a nice, peaceful sleep. But what was that sound? It wasn't his window rattling in the breeze. It must have been nothing. it was again. But now it was gone again. Now it was back. Dragon didn't like that sound. It was a scary sound. Didn't Cat hear that sound? He wondered. It was just Cat snoring. Dragon had nothing to worry about. But that doesn't sound like snoring. That was snoring. <laughs> that was something else. <laughs> and what was that? <laughs> it was just a squeaky floorboard. But what was that? It sounded like it was coming from... Uh. The bathroom. Dragon decided it was just too noisy upstairs. It would be much quieter down here, figured Dragon. No snoring or gurgling or squeaky floorboards to scare him. All was peaceful. There was just the quiet hum of the refrigerator to help him sleep. But who could sleep with all that food making so much noise? Only the shadow knows. The spooky story he'd read just before bedtime was keeping Dragon wide awake. He'd felt very nervous in his bedroom because he kept hearing funny noises in there. But it was hard to sleep on a sofa. Dragon decided he would rather spend the night in his own bed. Even though my room is filled with squeaks and creaks and spaces under the bed where something scary could hide, said Dragon. So, here I go. It 
It's just sounds. Nothing to worry about. Even a simple hula hoop can seem scary. If you let it. Everything is just fine. All the sounds in the house were normal sounds. The floor made normal creaky floor sounds. Cat made her normal sleepy sounds. And there was nothing under the bed making any sort of sound at all. Everything was just right for a nice, cozy night's sleep. Except for the monster in his room. But it wasn't a monster. It was just Cat. Yes, the night is filled with little sounds and shadows and spaces. But there's nothing to be afraid of at all. He happily sighed. <laughs>